Hey everybody, thanks for uh, participating in the weekly DXF uh, drawing uh, for this week. Looks like the truck won, uh, which is a good choice. It's, a, it's an awesome truck, wish I had one. So um, let me get to uh, starting to draw this and then you can download it and cut it on your machine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think I may talk through some of this. Um, kind of losing some of the the detail. I never know when there's enough detail. I don't want to be over crazy in my detail, but at the same time. I don't want it to be so vague that you can't really tell what it is. That is an awful looking bow tie. But it is at a strange perspec perspective. Yeah, we'll go with it for now. When I first started drawing DXF files for cutting, well, until this day, I still cut them for a water jet, or I still draw them for a water jet. So, I know a lot of you out there have plasma tables. So, anything or any feedback or any constructive criticism that you can give me on what will make it better for uh, plasma tables will greatly be appreciated. You know, a lot of people use Illustrator to draw their files. I am an AutoCAD guy. Love AutoCAD. Love drawing designs in AutoCAD. It's so much more responsive for me. You know, I guess it's what, like anything else, most comfortable, what you're most comfortable with. To design your stuff with. It's a funny story. The first design that I ever cut never had any <clears throat> experience 
and drawing any artistic anything in, in AutoCAD at all. Uh, I had a job and my boss was nice enough to let me learn on the job and we had a project come in required to be cut on the water jet and it was an actual a door that was going to be put in at Disney Disneyland or Disney World I'm not for sure which one but uh, looking back now it is a simple design it took me like eight hours to draw it it would take me now probably 15 minutes to draw it. It was that simple of a design. But I didn't have any experience doing it. So, it was quite difficult. And over the years, I have increasingly got better. Love doing it now. doing it for people. I've drawn my entire life. Had some art school training. And learned all the CNC stuff later in life. Still learn stuff from time to time, even though I've been doing this for years. But uh, I know a lot of the ins and outs. It's starting to look like a truck. Let's pull it away here. Not too shabby. There's that bumper. Bumper in the wheel area on vehicles are always hard for me to do. Grills are kind of difficult. If you guys want to, in the comments, uh, tell me which kind of cars you guys like, and I'll see what I can do to draw them up. I'd like to get a good collection of vehicles. Love muscle cars. Would love to have a, a garage just full of old muscle cars. This video is the actually the first video where I've been talking like this. I've been doing a lot of music in some of my other videos. Simply because I don't like to hear myself talk. And in, believe it or not, it's a little bit intimidating. talk like this when nobody is around you except for my kiddos upstairs they probably think uh, something's wrong with dad but but I can go back to 
playing music. I don't know if I'll talk through this whole video or not. But I like doing these arcs. When they stay. Don't know why. But that is one of my favorite things to do. You know, as with any designs, once you go along, you kind of learn different techniques that you like to do. One thing I like to do, I like to put circles around my design, kind of. I don't know, it just kind of brings the design in for me. I just like the way it looks. The composition of it all centered in a circle like it's supposed to be there. I know, it sounds crazy. So here we are at the wheel. Wheels drive me nuts. Don't like to do wheels. Because there's so much detail in them. And I struggle with which should be positive, which should be negative parts of the design. see some designs out there and there's a lot of talented people out there but man sometimes people just go a little overboard with everything they put in there and I don't want to do that not that there's anything wrong with it I just don't like it so I'm always scared that I'm gonna put too much stuff in there. I like more of a minimalist design. I haven't I haven't looked yet to see what what designs I'm gonna have for you guys to pick from this next week I haven't had time to I just don't like that wheel I may too eventually do some Facebook lives ah, of me doing a design, but I don't know. I guess I could see how some of these go with me gabbing. And you guys can tell me what what you want. I mean you really don't even need a video, but I just kind of enjoy making them. I thought about doing a podcast on DXF designs, but I don't know how well that would go over. The 
like I said, if this me doing these weekly things goes over pretty well, I'm gonna try my best to uh, do these once a week. A lot of work involved in it. Yeah, I'm gonna speed it up. I don't think I'm gonna bore you anymore. All right, let's speed it up. Let's speed. Yeah, 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 yeah.